It's going to be a white Christmas this year. Moosty is very happy about that. But he's also very happy because he's the one who's going to decorate the Christmas tree. Daddy has already put up the Christmas lights. Look, Moosty! You'll find everything you need in these boxes. Mommy and I will be in the kitchen. We're going to get started on the Christmas cookies. But if you need any help, just call us. I'll only call you when I'm finished, chuckles Moosty. And no peeking to see how I'm doing. Moosty can hardly wait to open up all the boxes. What beautiful Christmas tree decorations. I'm going to hang up all the red ornaments first. Wow, it's already looking really pretty, says Moosty, smiling happily. And now, the gold ornaments. And there's still a little room for a couple silver ornaments. It's starting to look like a real Christmas tree. I wonder what's in the other box. Some tinsel will make the tree look even more beautiful. Mommy and Daddy will be so surprised! Now I have to be really careful because this decoration goes right on top of the tree. Hooray! I did it! I decorated the Christmas tree all by myself! Mommy and Daddy will be so proud of me! But first, there's one more thing that I have to do. Moosty rushes up to his room. A little while later, he puts his Christmas presents underneath the tree. You can come and take a look now! It's beautiful, says Mommy. It's a wonderful Christmas tree. Daddy, can you turn on the Christmas lights, please? Yippee! Now it's really Christmas! He shouts. Merry Christmas, Mommy! Merry Christmas, Daddy! Thank you, son! Says Daddy. And this is for you! Says Mommy with a big smile. Merry Christmas! Wow! A toolbox! Wow! Thank you so much! Now I can be a real carpenter! I can see you're really good at crafts already, says Mommy. This necklace you made for me is beautiful, thank you. I'm so glad you like it, Mommy. My present is not only beautiful, it's also very useful, says Daddy. Now my pens and pencils will get their own special place on my desk. And together, Mommy, Daddy, and Moosty have a very Merry Christmas. Moosty is going to the farm this morning to get some fresh eggs. It's a very hot day. Maybe Mommy will make some delicious ice pops for later, he thinks. A little bit later, he walks towards the farm, happily swinging his basket. That's strange. There's nobody here. Where is everyone? Oink the pig is not in his mud bath. Boomer the horse is not in the stable. And Miss Cow is not in the field. Moosty doesn't understand. He looks around again. Fortunately, Mr. Cockerel is there.
Hey, Mr. Kakaro, where is everyone? Shh, not so loud, Mr. Kakaro says. Today is a great day for Mother Hen. She'll have little chicks soon. It won't be long now. Do you mean that her chicks will be born today? Moosty whispers. That's exactly what I mean, Mr. Cockerel says proudly. Go and take a look in the chicken coop, but don't make any noise. Moosty is excited and walks towards the chicken coop. And look, everyone is there, waiting. First he greets the ducks, who are moving their beaks without making a sound today. Oink is just staring ahead without moving a muscle. Boomer the horse is also very quiet and shakes his head very gently. Miss Cow is shaking her tail and winks at Moosty. Careful not to make a sound, Moosty goes into the chicken coop. And there's Mother Hen on her nest as usual. Hello, Mother Hen, Moosty whispers. Is everything all right? Is there anything I can do for you? Mother Hen gets up from the nest, which has four eggs in it. All we can do now is wait, Mother Hen says. But I think it could happen any moment now. Look, there, it's happening. It seems as if the eggs are moving. Cracks are starting to appear everywhere. Then they crack open one by one, and suddenly... Four cute chicks are sitting in the nest. Mother Hen looks at her children with pride. They look so cute, Moosty says. I could hug them all. But the chicks just want to sleep and be close to their mommy. I should get going now, Moosty whispers. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye, Mother Hen. When Moosty leaves the chicken coop, all his friends are impatiently waiting outside. And how are things going in there? Boomer asks. Yes, please tell us, Miss Cow says. We've been waiting for so long. Everything went fine, Moosty says cheerfully. Mother Hen now has four cute little chicks. They're fit as a fiddle, and they're sleeping quietly. <laughs> everyone breathes a sigh of relief. And now I'm going home to tell everyone the big news, Moosty says. I'm sure Mommy won't mind that I'm coming back with an empty basket. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. And the proud daddy, Mr. Cockerel Crows. Uh, uh, uh! For quite some time, a beautiful bird has been living in the birdhouse that daddy hung in the garden. No one's here. Maybe mommy bird flew off somewhere for a little while. No, no, here I am. And I've got big news. Just listen to my little house. Oh, the chicks. They're making sure you hear them. Can I take a look? Of course you can. They're all awake. They've grown so big, says Moosty. They're already good-sized little fledglings. Yes, yes. It won't be long now before they learn to fly. Meanwhile, I hope they just sit here peacefully in the nest for a bit, because I have to go and look for some food. That's okay. I'll stay with them until you get back. Will you really? That's wonderful. You go ahead, Mommy Bird. I won't be long. Bye, Moosty. <laughs> Moosty is really pleased he can do something to help Mommy Bird, but he hopes she won't stay away too long because her chicks have started making a lot of noise again. Oh, here she comes already. Oh, 
Can you stay a little longer? Then I can gather a bit more food for later. Asks Mommy Bird. I'll stay as long as you need me. In that case, I'll come and keep you company. Why is it you have to stay here? Mommy Bird is scared that her chicks will fly away too soon. Are they already that big? Asks Miss Tortoise. Oh, yeah. I think they'll be flying really soon. Mommy Bird has been gone a really long time. Can you keep an eye on things, Miss Tortoise? I'll go and look for her in the garden. All right, go ahead. I'll babysit. I hope these little rascals don't get into any mischief. Oh no! Oops! <gasps> what will Moosty say? And Mommy Bird? Did you hurt yourself, little one? Can you stand up? What am I going to do now? I can't put you back in the nest. I know. Curl up really small, and then I'll stand over you. There, nothing can happen to you now. Here we are, shouts Moosty. I found Mommy Bird. She hurt her leg. Is everything all right here? It is now, yes. This little one wanted to learn to fly. But thankfully, he's all right. You little rascal. I'll be keeping a very close eye on you from now on. Now off you go, back into our cozy nest. I'll help you, says Moosty. Come on, in you go. Thank you for everything. What an adventure, says Miss Tortoise. And it's not over yet, laughs Moosty, because I promised Mommy Bird I'd go and look for some food for her chicks. That sounds like fun. We can go look together. The whole family is on vacation at the beach. Moosty's building a sand castle. Ah! All it needs now is a flag on top and your castle will be finished, Moosty. There you go, Coco. What do you think of that? Ah! Nice work, Moosty. Yes, it's a fine castle, son. But look at this. How would you like to fly a nice kite? It's a beautiful day to fly a kite, isn't it? Wow, that's an awesome kite, Daddy. Is it for us? Yep. I just bought it. If it can fly as good as me, then it's a really good kite, that's for sure. Well, we'll find out soon. Let's give it a try. Come on. There's enough wind here, Moosty. We'll fly the kite here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You take the string and walk over to Coco. Uh -huh. I'll stay here with the kite. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pull the string tighter, Moosty. Is this tight enough, Daddy? Perfect! Get ready! Here it goes! Yippee! Alright! It flies really well! Ah, I'm going to take a closer look! You're a good kite pilot, Moosty! Hey! Watch out! Not so fast! Sorry, Coco. That was the wind. Give it more string, Moosty. Let it fly higher. Twirling and spinning, the kite climbs higher and higher. That was good, huh, Daddy? Very good, Moosty. Can I try it now? Uh-huh. Pull, Daddy. There you go. I'm going to send it even higher, Moosty. Oh no! The string ran out! There goes our kite! Don't worry! 
I'll follow it. Come on, Moosey. Let's chase after it. The wind carries the kite through the air. Coco tries to follow it. And then the kite drops down, right on top of a palm tree. Oh no! It's caught in that palm tree! We'll never be able to reach it up there. I can get it! But my beak might damage it! Wait right here! I'll go get some help! Ah! I wonder what Coco is going to come up with now. Look, this is my friend Pedro. He can climb any tree. Ah! It's a nice to meet you, amigos of Coco. How can I help you today? Hello, Pedro. Our kite is stuck up in that palm tree. Can you get it down for us, Mr. Pedro? Well, I only climb a trees if there are bananas in them, you know. I can only see coconuts here, and those are much too hard to eat. If you get our kite down, then we'll give you lots of bananas. How about that, Pedro? Fantastico! I'm already on my way. Be careful, Pedro. Make sure that you don't tear our kite. Uh, no problem. Here's your kite. Ready and catch. Bravo, Pedro. Thank you. Now, uh, where are those uh, bananas? Come along with us, Pedro. A little while later, Pedro enjoys a tasty banana. Moosty has some delicious ice cream. Mm. And Coco is very happy with his peanuts. Ah! Daddy, look over there! What a big boat! I think it's a freighter, a cargo ship. Do you want to go take a look, Moosty? How will we get there? I'll rent a boat. Are you coming too, dear? No, I'll stay here. You two go ahead, but be careful. Daddy has rented a motorboat. Moosty and Daddy are both wearing orange swimming vests. Moosty is sitting in front of the boat. He's the captain. Look, Daddy, there's Mommy. Can we shout hello? Okay, Captain Moosty. Ahoy, Mommy! Bye-bye, sailors. Be careful. Moosty and Daddy set off towards the cargo ship. The enormous cargo ship makes Moosty's little boat look very small. Moosty is greatly impressed. Look at how big it is, Daddy! It's the biggest boat I've ever seen! Ahoy, Captain! Ahoy, sir! Ahoy, sailor! Come on, Moosty. It's time to go back to Mommy. Oh, hey, what's happening? The motor just stopped running. Oh, no! Can you start it again, Daddy? No, it won't work. What now? Ahoy, Captain Moosty! Are you out fishing? Hey, Coco, is that you? We've got a problem. The motor won't start, and now we can't get back to the beach. So, you've got engine trouble? Don't worry, Moosty. I'll go get help. I'll be back soon. Ah! I'm afraid it won't start, Moosty. We'll just have to wait until Coco gets back. Oh! Look, Daddy! Ahoy, Captain! Are you Moosty? I'm Skipper. Coco said you were having engine trouble. Yeah, the motor won't start. We can't get back to the beach. Mommy is going to be worried. No problem. 
I'll bring you back. Do you have a life preserver on board? Is this one? Yep, that's it. Throw the ring in the water. And hold on tight to the rope. Skipper starts to tow Moosty and Daddy's boat. Ah! Is it working, Moosty? Yeah, it's working really well. Thanks for your help, Coco. My pleasure, but you should be thanking Skipper. Ah! Thank you, Skipper, shouts Moosty. You're a very kind and very strong dolphin. And Daddy says, You have great friends, Moosty. When we get back, I'll give them a big reward. Make mine a bucket of fresh fish, please. And for me, some crunchy peanuts. Ah! And they'll both get exactly what they want. Right, Daddy? Definitely, Captain Moosty. Accompanied by Skipper and Coco, Moosty and Daddy sail back to the beach. This is the last stop. Everybody out. Huh? There's somebody at the door. I wonder who that could be. Moosty, you've got visitors. Sam, Laura, have you come to play? Yeah, with my new train. Look, Moosty, I got it for my birthday. Come on inside. I've got a surprise for you. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, kids. Have fun playing. <laughs> Look, this is my surprise. Wow, a train just like mine, only red. Look, mine is green. That's a great surprise. Now we can make a really long track with two trains. Good idea, Laura. We can lay track all throughout the house. Our friends immediately get to work. Laura lays tracks in the hall. <laughs> Moosty lays tracks in the kitchen. There we go. And Sam lays tracks in the living room. I'm ready. Can we start now, everyone? I'm ready, too. The tunnel is finished. Everything is ready in the kitchen. Start the train, Sam. Choo-choo. Off they go. The trains are on their way, Laura. Okay, hooray! They're through the tunnel. Stop! The train has arrived. End of line for passengers to this station. Please exit. Everyone ready for the next trip? The conductor is ready, Moosty. The tunnel is ready, Moosty. The cake is ready, Moosty. Are you all going to come and have a piece? Not yet, Mommy. We're playing right now. Okay, start the train, Sam. All right, there they go. Choo-choo, go train. Choo-choo, through the tunnel. Wait a minute, trains. I've got some special cargo for you. One piece, two pieces, and three pieces. Off you go again. Have a safe trip. Where did the trains go? Did they fall off the tracks? No, Boosty, don't worry. Look, here they come. All right, to the station, little train. Bravo, Bravo little, little train. train. Yippee. Look, Moosty, the train is bringing us a delicious treat. Mmm, what a great cake. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. That was a really nice surprise. A nice surprise for my conductors. Here's a surprise for Mommy. Off 
you go, train! To the kitchen! Mommy! The train is bringing you a surprise! Thank you, my kind little conductors. That was really sweet. Good job, little train! <laughs> After a lovely walk in the forest, Mommy and Daddy are resting. I'm not tired at all, says Moosty. Can I go see if there are any fish in the river? Yes, of course you can. But be careful and don't go too far. Stay where we can see you, okay, son? I'm always careful, chuckles Moosty. I guess all the fish must be taking an afternoon nap. I don't see any of them swimming. Just a few twigs and some leaves. I recognize that sound. Good afternoon, ducks, shouts Moosty cheerfully. Hello, little duckling. You'll travel much faster in the water, you know. Jump in, then you can catch up to your friends. They're not my friends. They're laughing at me. They're always teasing me. Really? Why are they laughing at you? Asks Moosty. Because I... Because I... I just can't say it. Is it that bad? Yes, for a duckling, it's very bad, says Miss Tortoise. They're teasing her because she can't swim. But all ducklings can swim. Five little ducks went swimming one day. Then I'm not a real duckling. Of course you're a real duckling, says Miss Tortoise. You're just a little nervous, that's all. Please don't worry, little duckling. We'll help you. Quack, quack, quack. No, I don't want to. I can't do it. Nobody can help me. There's no need to be scared. We'll be right beside you. Quack, are you coming in the water too? Not me. I'm a tortoise, not a turtle. And I'm not allowed to go in the water by myself, says Moosty. But you are. And I'm sure you can do it. Just give it a try. Come on. I'm too scared. Are you sure you're not coming in? You can do it on your own. Really. Wah, 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 wah. No, I'm too scared. Miss Tortoise decides to try a different approach. She creeps up behind the duckling and shouts, Jump! What? Help! 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 Oh, 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 I can swim! Look at me! I can swim! It worked, says Miss Tortoise. My little plan worked. I can do it! Look at me! <laughs> I can swim! <laughs> it's not so hard after all! I'm so happy! Thank you! You should really thank Miss Tortoise, says Moosty. They're your friends. You swim along with them now. They won't laugh at you anymore. <laughs> You taught the little duckling how to swim. It may not have been the easiest way to do it, but it worked. You turned a scared little duckling into a happy duckling. It's been snowing all night. Outside, everything is white, beautifully white. Moosty gazes out the window 
and with a big smile on his face, he yells, Snow, at last! Moosty wants to go outside right away. Mommy, can I build a big snowman in the garden? Of course you can, but make sure you bundle up nice and warm, and don't forget your hat and scarf. Wrapped up nice and warm, Moosty goes outside. He starts his snowman by making a little snowball. And this snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Hey, Moosty. Hey, are you playing in the snow too? You think the snow is nothing but fun, shivers the little bird. But for us birds and so many animals, the snow makes it very hard for us to find food. Yeah, I know says Moosty. I'll put out some breadcrumbs later. That's very kind of you, Moosty. But first you have to rescue a friend from the snow. Rescue a friend? asks Moosty. But how? Just follow me. Moosty forgets all about his snowman and hurries after the little bird. Hurry! shouts the bird. Over here! Moosty is in terrible shock. That's one of Mr. Rabbit's paws. I'll get you out! He shouts. Is he okay? We have to warm him up right away, says Moosty, shivering. And he walks off holding Mr. Rabbit tightly. Where are you going, Moosty? I'm taking him to the farm. At the farm, Mother Hen is the first to see Moosty and Mr. Rabbit. Go straight to the cow shed to Miss Cow. I know she'll be able to help you. This doesn't look too good. Tell me what happened. I found Mr. Rabbit in the snow. He's really cold, and he's not moving. I'm so worried. Lay him down in the straw. I know what to do. Miss Cow blows her warm breath all over Mr. Rabbit. At first, nothing happens. Moosty, the little bird, and Mother Hen watch anxiously. Until suddenly, Mr. Rabbit opens one eye. And then the other eye. Phew! <gasps> Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Where am I? Asks Mr. Rabbit. I was trying to find my burrow in the snow. You're at the farm right now, says Moosty. Your burrow must be covered with snow says Miss Cow. You can stay here with us for a few days. It's nice and warm, and there's plenty of food. Also for rabbits. Food? Then I'd love to stay for a while, Miss Cow. <laughs> All's well that ends well, says Moosty. And now it's time for me to take care of my friends, the birds. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Moosty. Bye, Moosty. Bye, Moosty. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>